Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be my 6 a.m. morning routine. This is going to be on a normal school day where both of my kids are in school from about 8 a.m. until about 2.45 p.m. So I'm going to show you what my morning routine looks like as a stay-at-home mom of two school-age kids. So on a normal school day, my mornings start at 6 a.m. I head straight into the bathroom, brush my teeth, put my contacts in, and throw on a sweatshirt and sweatpants. Then I head into the kitchen and get myself a big glass of water and then do an ice roller for a few seconds on my face just to try to wake up. Now the morning that I was filming this routine was a Friday morning and on Fridays we like to do fun Friday breakfast so we typically do something like cinnamon rolls or donuts or fun pancakes whatever we decide on for that week so today I am just making cinnamon rolls and I'm going to go ahead and get those popped into the oven. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pack the kids snacks for the day and if they're eating home lunch, I would pack that during this time too, but my kids have been loving the school lunches this year at their new school and rarely ever want packed lunch. So for the kids snack, I'm just packing them this little trail mix. I actually shared this recipe in my last video, so go check it out, which I feel like you can't really mess up a trail mix as long as the kids like everything that's in the mix, then they're going to love your trail mix. So I made a huge batch of this trail mix, which makes it super easy to just pack their snacks for the mornings. Now sometimes my kids will actually pack their own snacks the night before if we remember, but our evenings are usually pretty crazy and we typically forget to go ahead and pack snacks the night before. At 6.30 a.m. it is time for the kids to wake up. I have an 11 year old son named Kaysen and a 9 year old daughter Gracie June. My son actually wakes up to his alarm at 6.30 a.m. and he gets himself dressed, brushes his teeth, and puts his contacts in before he comes downstairs. And we always tell him that if he doesn't get up when his alarm goes off, then he has to wake up 30 minutes earlier the next day. So that has only happened once this school year. <laughs> And then I actually go and wake my daughter up. She gets herself dressed and brushes her teeth. And then next they will eat breakfast. I'll do my daughter's hair. And then we will make sure to have everything packed in their backpacks and head out the door for school no later than 7.15 a.m. Also, my husband has a different work schedule day to day. So sometimes he's there helping out in the mornings and some days he's gone before we even wake up. But as you could see, he was there helping in the background this morning. And then some days if he's headed into town and his schedule works out, then he will actually take the kids to school as well. Our drive to school is about 25 to 30 minutes depending on traffic. So I usually get back home between 8.15 and 8.30. And then the first thing I do is make my bed. And if I'm working out that morning, then I'll throw on some workout clothes. This morning I was going for a walk and so I got dressed and it was a little bit chilly outside so I did put on a lightweight pullover as well. so I can listen to an audiobook while I walk but before I get started on my walk I'm actually going to go ahead and throw a load of laundry into the washing machine. Making my bed and starting a load of laundry are two things I just feel like I have to do first thing in the morning. Now for my audiobooks that I listen to while I walk, while I clean, 
do anything around the house, even while I drive the kids to and from school, I use Audible and I actually have used Audible since 2014. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in. My favorite genre is suspense thrillers and I'm currently listening to Stranger in the Woods and it's so good so far. I've listened to so many good audiobooks over the years and I even have a highlight saved on my Instagram account with tons of different book reviews that I've done based on some of the audiobooks that I've listened to. If you want to see my favorites, you can go check it out there. But Audible has the best-selling audiobooks in every genre, exclusive Audible originals, popular podcasts, and more, and it's all in one place. And if you do not already have an Audible account, new members can try Audible for free for 30 days. So if you visit audible.com slash darly or text darly to 500-500, you can try Audible out for free for 30 days. I'm also going to leave the link in my description box for you for so it's easy to find. And then I'll leave a list of a few of my favorite audiobooks that I've listened to lately. And thank you to Audible for partnering with me on today's video. So for a while now, I've only been walking. I haven't really been running, but today it felt so good that I decided to do walk-run intervals, and it was so nice to do a little bit of running. After I was done, I did a quick stretch and then headed inside to chug some water. So on this day, I had some errands to run in the afternoon, so I wanted to go ahead and jump in the shower so I could let my hair air dry while I did my morning devotional and planning time. After my shower, I did my skincare routine, brushed my hair, and then got dressed. Most days I will do my devotional and planning time here at the breakfast table or in the office and today I chose the breakfast table and I was actually starting to get a little bit hungry but it wasn't quite lunchtime so I got myself a protein shake. So this is the devotional I've been doing and it's called Pumpkin Spice for Your Soul and a sweet follower Jess suggested it to me over on Instagram and it is such a great little devotional for fall. After I get done with my devotional, I'll pull out my planner and look at what we have for the day or plan what we need to do that day and then take a look at what we have going on for the rest of the week. And I'll also highlight some of the things that I forgot to highlight off my list from the day before or earlier in the week or even highlight things I've already done for the day. I absolutely love highlighting things off of my list, so sometimes I'll even add things to my list that I've already done just so I can highlight it. <laughs> Y'all will have to let me know if you do that too. Next, I pull out my little notebook and this is where I like to plan out my videos or even do brain dumps. I feel like I always have so many things going through my head and sometimes it's actually hard for me to sleep at night because I'll be thinking of all the things that I need to do or I'll have all these ideas that just pop into my head. So if I do these brain dumps every now and then and write down all of my ideas on paper, it actually helps clear my head a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry and curl my hair and then put some makeup on for the day. So like I said earlier, I had a few errands to run later in the afternoon, so I did take a shower and got ready, but sometimes I'll actually wait and take a shower at night, especially if I know I'm gonna be outside with the kids later or doing something that's gonna get me sweaty again. <laughs> um, then I'll just let my hair air dry overnight so I'm not always um, blow drying it. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way, kind of let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in boring conversations with you. With you, I'm gone. Now. 
Now I'm gonna put on my makeup and this seriously only takes me like five minutes and all of my makeup is in one compact. So now I'm all ready for the day. I did end up putting jeans on later in the day before I left, but since I was gonna do a little bit of cleaning, I decided just to stay in my sweatpants and be comfy and put my slippers back on. So here I'm just taking the clothes from the washer and putting them in the dryer. And then I'm gonna head into the kitchen to start on my morning cleaning routine. So first I'm gonna clean up the breakfast area. Here I've got all of my stuff plus a few of the things from the kids and I'm just gonna wipe down the breakfast table. We actually did not eat breakfast at the table this morning. They ate at the um, counter, but we did eat dinner here last night and I did not wipe it down before we went to bed or anything. Now when it comes to cleaning the kitchen, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and get all of the countertops completely cleared off. So I'll take all the things that don't belong in here, go put those things away, or sometimes I'll put them in a basket and just leave them on the stairs for the kids to put away. Um, and then I always take the chargers out, especially when I'm cleaning and filming just because I can't stand the way it looks. And then I will usually unload the dishwasher because we typically wash our dishes at night, run our dishwasher at night, and then unload in the mornings. But our dishwasher was not completely full, so we didn't run it the night before. So I'm going to go ahead and load these dirty dishes into the dishwasher. And then I will usually wash any dishes that we need to wash by hand. Um, I didn't have any to do this morning, so now I'm just going to really quickly clean out the sink. For a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I've played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute I don't have, I don't have any limit Now here we have some dishes from the night before on the drying rack So they're all dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put those away Next, I'm wiping down the counters. I'm using a countertop spray by Caldrea here on my granite countertops, and then I'm gonna use the Method Wood Cleaner on my wood countertop. You could do better than wasting time on me And I admit it felt so tough But baby, I guess this is how it's meant to be I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away to LA for a minute There will be, there will be no limits ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can And then 
the last bit of cleaning I'm gonna do here in the kitchen is just run the vacuum really quick. This is my cordless vacuum. I love using it for quick cleanups and just an everyday cleaning routine. Play Now I'm heading into the living room and for some reason I have gotten on this kick of folding laundry at night but then everybody will already be in bed so I can't go put it away. So here I'm just tidying up the living room and part of the tidying up is putting away the laundry that I folded the night before. So I'm taking this little basket here and I'm going to actually take that upstairs, go ahead and put all that laundry away and then this laundry on this couch is all mine and chances. So I'm going to go put those away in our bedroom. Thank you. As I was tidying up the couch here and like fluffing the pillows and everything, I noticed that there were some feathers and also a little bit of cat hair. So I went ahead and got that same vacuum that I was using earlier and just changed the attachment. I'm using the upholstery attachment here and I'm just gonna do a really quick vacuum on our couches. This is not part of my everyday cleaning routine, but I felt like it needed to be done. So I did that really quickly. Oh, take me away. I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I don't know what I'd do without you You make me smile, what is it that you do? Now that the downstairs is all tidied up, I am finished with my normal morning routine and ready to eat some lunch and run some errands. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my typical morning looks like as a stay at home mom. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you're new here. Also say hey in the comments, let me know where you're watching from and also let me know if you have any video requests. If you need some cleaning motivation today, be sure to check out some of the videos here on the screen at the end of this video or check out my playlist so that you can find exactly what you're looking for. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just need you. I know what